Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Pipeworks. This is courtesy of Mike, so thank you so much. Uh, it's been, uh, I guess, at least a year or two, so at least a year, uh, almost two years probably, uh, since I've had this one. This is Pipeworks Ninja vs. Unicorn. This is a big uh, double IPA, 8% and can about two weeks ago, so really excited. Um, one of the classic double IPAs from Chicagoland. Hell, remember bombers of this, right? Bombers of this coming into the New York market, like, Geez, six years ago, <laughs> something like that, crazy. Uh, so anyway, uh, the beer comes in a medium gold color, has light chill haze, yeah, light chill haze to it, but pretty much a clear beer. Um, yeah, nice carbonation on it, has a tiny bubbled white head. Yeah. I get some floral sweetness on there. It has like almost like a sweet lavender tone to it. A little bit of ripe fruit. So I get um, candied uh, mangoes, I get uh, dried orange peel, I get um, dried grapefruit peel. A little bit of honeyed biscuit sweetness. Orange marmalade. But yeah, digging into some sweet tropical fruits too. Um, overripe pineapple, stuff like that, cheers. Mm. Hmm, what is that? Yeah, that's a good beer. I thought actually that this beer had a little bit more going on to it, but really nice and clean and dry, 8%. So in general, this beer bursts with a nice citrusy punch up front. It has like white grapefruit, just like bitter, uh, fresh grapefruit riding through here. And there's also some uh, sweet orange as well. So a little bit of that kind of orange marmalade character, but um, Nice combination of bitter, uh, pithy grapefruit along with some sweeter orange notes to it, leaning towards a little bit of tropical. There's more of that honeyed biscuit thing uh, driving in the middle, offering a little bit of sweetness. And then there's almost like a plasticky tone to the hop character. It's a little bit strange, but yeah, it's got this like almost like like burnt plasticky kind of thing. Not in a terrible off flavor way. It's just that some hops are just so pungent. It, they almost come, uh, come off chemically. If it makes any sense. Uh, the beer for an 8% double IPA, not that that bitter, but solidly a medium, uh, medium to medium plus uh, bitterness on this one. Yeah. It actually really plays almost in the realm of a uh, dry, um, fruity West Coast IPA. You know, I, I would have uh, initially guessed that this was uh, a West Coast IPA. I like that the uh, malt is a little bit restrained on this one, but still in the, the classic realm, it's not these, you know, updated, uh, you know, IPA 2.0s where they're like, you know, there's no color to it, it's completely stripped of bitterness. I'd say the bitterness may be stripped a little bit back, but has that West Coast kind of aromatic to it. And then the dryness, <laughs> the dryness is very, uh, that's, that's one of the highlighting points of this beer. One of the noticeable things about this beer, 8%, very dry beer. Yeah, I mean, this is really in the realm of, uh, realm, sorry, of the kind of uh, stuff that I've been like, you know, itching a little bit for. Dry, bitter, West Coasty. Quite nice, I like it. Uh, this beer for me, you know, Despite the aromatics, the flavor of the hops don't really like zing to me uh, that clearly um, on, on, on the palate, but it's still a very good beer. This beer for me is 93. 93, Ninja vs. Unicorn from Pipeworks. Thank you so much, Mike. This is fantastic. Cheers. Later.